All right. You guys want me to just start it? We'll, we'll get it going? Yep. All right. We'll get it going. Let me, let me get into character here. Get into character. Oh, my God. There's fireworks going on outside my house. Jesus Christ. I'm recording a podcast. <laughs> Shut up. I'll be right back. Give me 30 seconds. <laughs> Need a soda. <laughs> okay. I'm an idiot. I rush. <laughs> I usually prepare. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage... Hey everybody, what is going on? And welcome to the Bread Official Presents the Everything Podcast. Today, I'm joined by three other people, gamers, friends. We're supposed to have a fourth, but he isn't here at the moment, so we're just starting with three. Uh, first up, we have Nick, also known as Noted Nades. Hi. <laughs> we have... Oh yeah, I'm supposed to introduce myself <laughs> and continue on talking. Well, uh... Things I like to do is uh, play video games with Brett, obviously. Duh. But, uh, yeah, I pretty much uh, have known Brett for some quite some time. We've played games like Siege and Rocket League and Fortnite. And we've uh, pretty much been mediocre at every single one, but, but we've had great memories. All right. Next up, we have Brian, also known as Lord Johnson or Hype Hellcat. Um, or Top Sniper NA. Or Top Sniper or, NA. Or uh, what was that fucking gamer tag they used to have? XX Toxic Skills or some bullshit. What was it? <laughs> it was what? some, like, what was that? No, or it was your Call of Duty thing. Tectonic was Tiger? Your... Yes, Tectonic yes. What do you know about Tectonic Tiger? <laughs> Tectonic Top Tiger. Top 5 Sniper. That's Not exactly a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> Brian, what's going on with you? Um... Just surviving each day, trying to get through it. Made it to the end of the year. Very surprising. I'm still here. 2021. I'm coming back. Bigger than ever. Streams every day. All right. I'm pushing it. I I don't think I can do that with my life. But <laughs> he's a Giants we're gonna, fan. We're gonna do some oh. big things. I'm a Giants fan. You didn't have to talk about that. That's been a bad part of my life for a while now. Very low blow. Uh, no, yeah, that's really it. Honestly. All right. <laughs> And lastly, we have Dave, also known as Darth Vossi. Dave, what's going on with you? What's up, bro? I got some. I got three beans right now. <laughs> Dave. Dave is currently playing Warzone. Um, I'll I'll talk about Dave. He loves Star Wars. He also loves Call of Duty. Damn. That's that's all you're getting from me. Basically, uh, we are, you know, I guess a group of friends that also of all yeah, individually okay. stream. So you can find us on Twitch, myself, Darth Vossi, and Lord Johnson. Uh, Nick, you are technically a streamer for Facebook Gaming. Technically not. Technically I just not. stream on Facebook every now and again. Mm -hmm. But only games that are actually entertaining. Like I don't think Rocket League is fun to watch on stream. Really? So I would be. never stream that. And I only streamed really Fortnite. Broke armor? Uh, I mean, yeah. And I only streamed, I never streamed four viewers. I only streamed four recordings. And now that I figured out how to use GeForce and how to record things without having to stream, yeah. I stopped streaming. So, so there's that. So what made but you go, go towards Facebook in the first place, though, for those occasional streams? Uh, you'd probably get more viewers and more consistent viewers on Facebook if I agree. you have like a consistent following of friends that like you knew in high school and or college that like similar games yeah. to you. So maybe I they'll know, like, I have, like maybe they'll stay in. Yeah. Maybe they'll stay in for like one game. Like, you know, you drop sweaty and they watch you and whatnot. And yeah. maybe you pull off like a nice, like 15 minute game and they watch like seven minutes of it. Yeah. Okay. They call you shit. And then that's that. And then you're like, thanks for the, thanks for the view. <laughs> And you know, so I never had a lot of motivation to stream on Facebook. I just did it. So would you want to stream on other platforms, or or is it more you you don't enjoy the streaming aspect? Do you more enjoy the game <clears throat> and recording aspect? Um, no, I wouldn't want to watch. I I don't wouldn't want to stream on Facebook if I was going to take it seriously. I would want to stream on an actual platform like Twitch or. Other platforms, I, I would say Mixer, but they're no longer a thing, correct? Yeah, Facebook bought them, so they're all the people from Mixer got offered uh, contracts for Facebook gaming. Oh, that's a good at you least. Know, like, Mixer had, had Mixer climb. had like okay. that hype zone, <laughs> and I remember yeah, like fine. one time in hype zone. Oh my god, I was like top ten one time. time. Yeah, I was like, I was, I had like two sixty, and I was like, and then I choked the win. I was because I saw <laughs> that. Yeah. So yeah. pissed because the was, kid was a shitter. 
That was the worst, bro. Like, every time... I got in the hype zone twice on Fortnite, and both times... Yeah, me too. As the notification popped up, I died. Oh. And it was literally just, like, the most depressing thing, watching my viewer count go from, like, three all the way up to, like, 300, and I'm like, holy shit, I made it! And then I die, and then it's back down to, like, two. But isn't hype zone just, like... Like a main screen for whatever game you're searching. Yeah, yeah. So they they had it for each game, like, so like Siege, Rocket League. Technically, like it's people brilliant. could just have your web bl- browser open for a link, but not actually be watching a stream and looking through the actual content of the other streamers. Not looking no. through, but looking to find another. That was that was like, the really cool thing about the hype zone because it had a dual chat system. Um, where there were people, yeah, that they could, they could stay in the hype zone chat and just talk in there, but a lot of the time it would just bring you directly into that person's chat. Like I watched a bunch when I, when Mixer was a thing on hype zone, it would literally go from chat to chat to chat. So if you didn't want to chat with them, like for some reason, you could stay in the hype zone one. But like most of the time, it'd be really cool to hop in someone's like random chat. You know, they're chilling at one viewer, and all of a sudden they're up to like you know like two fifty, and you're they're just like holy shit, and you're like, hey, man, what's up? Like, <laughs> hope you're having a good night. That's, That's uh, crazy. The hype zone was, like, great. That's such a missed opportunity on Twitch part not to How incorporate something like that. Me? Twitch what? only is in it for the big guys. They don't give a fuck about the little guys. Yeah. You know why? Right? And that's this is huge. That streaming, like, you have to, like, you you know, you stream on Twitch, right? Yeah. Yeah, so like you have to average a certain amount of viewers, right? Mm-hmm. And what is what is that number? Three. The for, for that first tier, and then what's the second tier? Seventy. The next like, d- like, what the fuck yeah, you the fuck is you talking about? Like, yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> How is that possible? Well, it's crazy because I saw a statistic today, um, that if you're streaming on Twitch and you have a um, average viewer count of five or over, you're in the top five percent of all of Twitch streamers. In terms of average viewership, bro, that's because like everybody is t- streaming on Twitch. Yeah, like, it's literally so but, easy. But at the same time, if you think about it, if if you have five average viewers in a month, that puts you in the top five percent. That means ninety five percent of Twitch streamers like can't get above five, and they're chilling at that. Like they can get to that three mark. Like I I would say that it like if you have people behind you that are willing to support you. Like, whether it's friends, family, or you somehow, like, manage to have a viewing, like, a viewership already. It's, like, attainable. But, like, that 75 mark is, like... Tough. Very tough. Tough. It's... It feels almost insurmountable at points. Like, the only times I've gotten above 100 viewers is from raids. And they last for maybe an hour or two, and then, like, it's gone. Which is just wild. That, like, you think about it, you have to have that, not not for an hour, you have to have that for a whole month. I think it's ridiculous, to be honest. I, at the same time, don't think so, though. Because, if you think about it by that point, 75 average viewers, that means that at a minimum, you probably are getting, like, you know, probably 100 subs at that point. 100 subs... You know, you, you get, like... Yeah, but how long do people... T- like, I get, like, streaming is, like, kind of like a like a, a set thing that you should be doing from, like, anywhere from three to five... Three to eight hours. Yeah. Like, a lot of streamers will go long, but, like, that's because they can. They can create content easily, mm-hmm. and they get donos and whatever. But, like, for, like, small streamers, I think they have to keep the content as to a minimum to start off. So they can get that average. Yeah. And like yeah. I think they're just stuck between three and seventy five for so long that they just give up or just don't care. Yeah. Well that's, for, uh, that's it starts to like at. hurt. <laughs> no, I think I think that's a valid point though. Like I think you're right, but that also helps weed out the competition a little bit. But but with that being said, it's streaming, so it's like you could yeah, like it's only four hours of your day. Which, mm-hmm. if you're already a gamer, it's like you're, you're already gamers. you're already investing at least two, three hours a day. So it's like yeah, you know. And I think a lot of people <clears throat> lose kind of perspective on it when people kind of force this idea down their throats of it's just a hobby. That's what you have to think of it as. It's only a hobby. 
Like, if you want to, like, grow your channel and hit that 75 viewer mark and get partner and get paid to stream, like, you really have to stop thinking like that. You have to think, no, like, this, this at this point is my part-time job that just doesn't pay me well. This is, yep. you know, this is my, my chance to nothing. make it. In fact, if, unless you can make earnings on your skill base. Not just that, like, but, like, if you, if you can, like, so, like, if you're playing, like, popular games say like if you're playing fortnite and you just like the more you mention like prime subs it like statistically shows that like you actually increase in subscriptions so like like as much as like i joke around about like yo can we get five gifted a lot like that actually does reinforce people oh do i have a twitch prime sub that i'm not using or oh do i just have five bucks in my account that i don't mind spending and then they they either they you know they sub they gift subs it's like you're, you're almost <laughs> it's inception. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I it's it looks on, on Twitch now that you mentioned that. Well, so talking about platforms and stuff, are there other platforms that you guys would wanna either you know if you had the opportunity to move to and stream to or upload to? Like, would you guys want to do YouTube or even like do like YouTube. a smaller thing like TikTok or Instagram? The more that I watch Doc or Courage, it's YouTube's not that bad at all. I don't like I don't like other streaming platforms other than the the two that were competing at the time, but I guess Facebook and Twitch now. But like YouTube, I don't go on YouTube to watch like streamers. And if anyone's live on TikTok, like I don't watch that. No. I, I'm on TikTok. <laughs> I don't have a TikTok. TikTok. No, I feel like TikTok's just a good way to put out small clips just to get mm. like a new type of like fan base in a sense. Just find yeah. reach out to new people just that will like decided to like just try well not try him into this like peek into your stream or whatever you're doing mm -hmm. for a little bit yeah it's, it's a, it puts out a hand for him it's something that i looked down on a lot when i started streaming was this idea that like i needed to get into people's dms like so many people like will like you know having a slight following that i do people will like hit in my dms and be like yo love your stream do you mind checking me out and maybe giving me a host sometime like, I always used to look down on that when I, like, especially coming up, I was, like, look at those guys, like, being, like, like almost, like, begging for views. But, like, in a sense, like, you can't really make it there unless you, like, you put yourself out there, I guess. Right. So, like, you almost, in a sense, have to, like, be willing to, I don't want to say embarrass, because it shouldn't embarrass people to try and, like, grow at something that they care about. But you have to make yourself as comfortable. Good. Like, do you guys, do you guys have any experiences, like, reaching out to other creators or anything? Yeah, I, whenever, when I was streaming a lot during uh, quarantine, I always, I had random people, like, actual, like, affiliates or whatever, reaching out. Mm -hmm. And they, it, what, what were cool. those conversations like? Was it just, like, a yo, sub for sub type of thing, or? No, nah, one of them made me a mod. <laughs> oh. I only talked to him, like, three times. It was back on Modern Warfare. <laughs> <He's cool. Dude's laughs> instantly yo i need more mods this dude's in yeah, i think that's what it was because he was like he wasn't like a kid he was our age yeah well having having mods in your chat is like phenomenal i found like salmon who you guys know who um who salmon. i met through counter-strike and is was a regular viewer and is now a mod in my channel and i played tons of games with him he's a mod and he takes care of everything like i don't even ask him at this point like someone comes into the chat and they look at me the wrong way he's on it it's yeah. crazy oh yeah i found that you out. can do that <laughs> <laughs> i think it was vaughn but uh, yeah no i remember that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was that they was, were on my ass no it was, was it was like, toasty Whoa. it was toasty toasty <laughs> Toasty, <laughs> you were like, you were like, yo, this dude sucks at this game. And Toasty was like, Brad, yeah. you want him out? And I was like, no, 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 no. It's good, it's good, it's good. I was literally laughing. I'm like, what do you mean, get me out? I'm like, who are you, kids? And then they started doing the follow age stuff. And they see like, oh, like a few months. I'm like, right, let me try this. Uh, like three years. years. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you guys are messing with the wrong person. <laughs> well, so like, kind of talking about the platform a bit and how, you know, we do love Twitch. There is a lot about Twitch that I do not like. And like, like? Uh, in, in particular, I don't like their treatment of uh, non-partners. Um, did you guys hear about the situation of the Valorant streamer in Brazil and how she got banned? No, I heard about it. Shed some land on it. it. I may have heard it. So this, she's a professional Valorant player down in Brazil. Um, she was doing a stream 
ordered food for her family, and she left her stream room to go get the food at the door. And her daughter, who's some like somewhere under thirteen, walked in the room and was interacting with chat. She got an indefinite ban from the site because you're not allowed to have someone under thirteen interact with chat or be on the the, the site itself. That's ridiculous. So her That's main wild. job is playing Valorant streaming. She now lost an income source because of that. <clears throat> That's crazy. That's a little much. Meanwhile, like this, like there, there. Meanwhile, there. There's... Like, there's so much worse on Twitch. Yeah. I, like, oh, there's I was so much right worse. Now. Like, how many, how many, like, view? how many times have you seen, uh, like, a girl or whatever, like, get banned for some shady shit or a guy get banned because he said some stupid shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're showing too much cleavage or whatever the fuck. Those types of situations. Twitch is, like, they, they do not, like... They don't give you an inch with those things. Yeah, they really don't. And did you hear about the... the so the next day after that ban that I, that I told you guys about, this this ties directly into that, nah, Nick. This this girl, she's a, she's a partnered streamer, but she's also... Um, she has an OnlyFans, which no problem with. If people have OnlyFans, you know, like, do your own grind. If you do that, good for you. But she was using OBS to record her videos for OnlyFans. And if you use OBS... OBS, you know that the go live button and the start streaming button are right next to each other. <laughs> no. She hit the go live button and dog, she spread it wide open live yeah. on stream. <laughs> and so nice. everyone, everyone initially was like, damn, she's gone. She's getting banned off the site for forever. Because that's like, the, at first, like, they didn't know it was an accident, but like, they're like, that's egregious. Like that's crazy, but she came out she and said that it was an accident. Van, right? Wait, what? She had to get permaban for that, right? Well, so she came out and she was like, "Like, first of all, I don't want that shit out there because people pay me for that. So I basically yeah. just gave away my own like stuff that I'm making bank off of for free. Why would I want to do yeah. that?" So Twitch then decided, "All right, that's gonna be a three day ban." And then make his perma down, perma band doc, but he still doesn't know why. True, that's that's another whole can of worms. We like obviously, I think Doc at this point has to know. Uh, I think at that point, yeah, but but once he came back and started streaming, it took like it was like a month in. He finally was live on stream and he opened up about it. So still, it, it still took way too long. Well, that's also got to take a mental toll, you know? Because he, yeah, he that's what he said on the stream. He said he. He was like in a bad spot or whatever, and he lost like, like you said with her, he lost like sponsors. Yeah, like you lose money. Yeah, it's like it's a whole job, baby. That's that's the thing that a lot of people can't wrap their heads around. Even for non partners, this can still be a full time job. I've like I've done the math of what I would need for this to actually become like a part time job fully, and it's like I would literally need probably about. I would say 500 subs mm -hmm. and then that would be like an actual part-time job. Are you near that? By that point, 500, you know, by tier ones are $5. So you're getting like 2,500 a month, which actually that's like fucking, that was basically what I was making in my full time. Anyways, we, we've kind of shit on we've shit on the platforms. Not the platforms. We shit on Twitch a lot, and we love Twitch. I was going to say, it was just Twitch. <laughs> we, we love Twitch. We just don't love some of the actions that they take. So, Twitch, please partner yeah. me in the future. You can love something that has <laughs> many, many flaws. It's called Tough Love, baby. Like Call of exactly. Duty, Xbox. Call of Duty's, Call of Duty's <laughs> buns, but I still play it. Oh, my God. You know, yeah, Twitch, exactly. Twitch turned me down for a job. I, I, I emailed. I emailed to be um to be a partner rep. Like not emailed. I like actually applied on Indeed, and they turned me down because I had a lack of experience. <laughs> and I was like, it, "This was like last year." I was like, "Dog, I'm in school. Like I like I have work <laughs> cleaning up a dome, and that's it." <laughs> cleaning up a dome. Anyways, we'll 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 leave Twitch at that. Um, let's talk about gaming a little bit. Um, because obviously yeah. Cold War came out this year for Call of Duty. We all have. Whoa! Been... <laughs> that <laughs> game. Been... <laughs> <laughs> we all have been big on Call of Duty, you know, ever since 
Call of Duty became mainstream in terms of multiplayer online games all the way back in Mo- Cold uh, Call of Duty Four Modern Warfare. Um, but where does Cold War rank in terms of you guys? Do you like? Is it near the top or near the bottom? Well, uh, it's better than fucking Advanced Warfare. I can tell you that. It's better than Infinite Warfare. I can tell yeah. you that. So Infinite two. Warfare was the biggest joke of the <laughs> franchise, I think. Play. I can't believe they actually came out with that game. I remember being <laughs> so happy about it. And I remember Which also one playing was it. Infinite Warfare? Like, it was the one with Jon Snow. One, it's the, the one that came like, out with Jon Snow. Uh, yeah, with Mo- Call Modern Warfare, like Call of Duty 4. And that's the, I feel like that's the only reason why people got it. I know that's why I got that's it. I remember playing it. it. Literally, like, it was the type of thing where you just had to smile oh, yeah. through the pain. Because that thing was a joke. Nah, I feel like I I don't know I when I played competitive COD and like Black Ops Two Ghost like MW Three era it was it was good it was yeah. okay it was, like Black Ops Two is one of the best games competitive COD wise Hardpoint had just came out all the maps were really good for S and D like a lot of them were. And the guns I felt were really balanced in that game, but then after Black Ops Two was like, was a Ghost. Right? I tend to yeah. forget Black Ops Two a Freaking lot. Freaking <laughs> trash, trash. I played Ghost competitively. That game sucked. It was buggy as all hell. It was <laughs> the pain. game was buns. We were fucking about that earlier. Yeah. The, the goddamn the stupid rotations in a five map like uh, CWL thing was. Yeah. Hard point. It, there was no hard point. It was like S and D and blitz and domination. Yeah. Boo. That it, stinks. And then you had gay, like maps like Octane and just like it was, that game was a lot. Actually, some of the worst maps in the series. And yeah. there was yeah. there was even that one. What was the huge one? The outdoor one, like the castle. Oh, the the, the fortress, right? Yeah. Oh fortress. my god. Anytime I went to go worst. play a pub, yeah, I got that map. Ever. I just literally quit the app and yep. restarted because I didn't even <laughs> oh, want to waste it. Not even worth it. Funds. It was then, so big and it was a 6v6 map. You know what, what came out after that? Ghost? I think it was Advanced Warfare. And I so liked we, Advanced Warfare. To be fair, I, I, yeah, I liked Advanced it Warfare. It was my favorite of the Jetpack ones. Yes. Or whatever the hell. No, 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 no. Black Ops 3. We should have got a way. No, I don't, I no Black so Ops 3 suck. I liked it. I hated, I hated Black Ops 3 and 4. Yeah. I, I just didn't think that. I'll were, give like... Black Ops Four. They they gave rank and rank mode was good. Yeah, that's always yes. why. I uh, but Black Ops Four had f- that whack ass like automatic like you automatically ran a stim. So like no, yeah, I, that, that was I, I remember like, watching that like competitive and it was like it was like you got a guy one shot and if he was able to pull off a two piece like you're good just heal up and yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I didn't. I hate he wasn't that. dying. It's started... like that third dot and that third guy makes it a one v one. Like it's. It started Excuse one of my me. least favorite phases of Call of Duty, which is the the push heavy and then immediately back off, which is yeah. so infuriating to play against if you get someone who knows what they're doing, because they'll go in and pick your team apart using me. the most OP shit. Like <laughs> now, now it's it's mm-hmm. Cold War, it's the Mac Ten or the the pistols, whatever they are, the Diamantes. They'll just run in to tap <laughs> you and then run out, and your teammates can't even trade. I got off that game. Cold War is just like you can't play the first of all the 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 publics. In uh, have Cold you played War Raid yet? Is no, I haven't. I stopped playing before you that update. It. It, it plays. Uh, that's better. fine. I Raid, I'm not Raid missing much. I played it. Raid. I liked Raid, but like it that one game. map's not enough. Yeah, like no, one no, map's yeah, not I, changing I, I, that I, game. Yeah. Like there's the just like skill based matchmaking sucks. Yes, it's all ass. It's but, like I go fifty two and five, and then I'm playing like you're playing, gods. You're playing t- uh, fucking scump. You you went straight. We were playing the entire game like, like Octics lineup. Night, though. We were on, like, it's like, like give me a break, dude. I ran into like six six year olds. Like so what? Like you gonna punish me for it? Well, like we we played last night on raid. And Way better with a team. It is it is we so I was much five. better. But then again, I also I'm like I'm at a point now with Call of Duty that I don't give a fuck what my KD is. I don't give a fuck what my win loss ratio is. I like I hop on that game specifically because I wanted to try out the guns and also level them up for Warzone. That is it. Yeah. 
Like there's there's no part of me that plays Cold War and is like, I want to play this in comp. I want to like I want to put myself out there and like put in ten hours a day and go play in the CDL. Like this <laughs> this game is so unenjoyable if you're actually trying. Facts. And it's just you know that's that's just the state of Call of Duty at this point. There's you you can you can have fun if you have a full stack, but if like for for content wise, I tried to record a video and miserable, miserable time. <laughs> it's <laughs> like oh, let me go ahead and use a bad gun to try and make a funny video. And it's like, oh, I just went 0-32. What the about, other like, team trying to leveling something up, like, or just, like, trying yeah. to grind for, like, a fucking camo or a diamond or, like, a gold. And, like, you get to a goddamn shit gun and you're sitting there for, like, content or whatever, or just, like, self-satisfaction, but you're literally, like, you're 8 and 28 because you're using some <laughs> dog you're shit gun. Yeah. 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 And it's just... And, and it's skill-based matchmaking, nonetheless, because you're literally going against sweat, so not only you're putting yourself at disadvantage for one in really bad bones. gun, you got a fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Why, it, like, a domination hard point and, like, search. If you, like, take those three and search those, you will get a consistent five maps on Cold War. Yeah. And that's it. And satellite, you'll get Moscow... You'll get the ship map, whatever that's called. Uh, I don't even I don't remember. It, something, Armada? something about Armada the U.S. Strike? committing war crimes. I don't know. I think it's a modest strike. <laughs> yeah, a modest strike. Like it's retarded. It, it's it is the actually plane, the plane map. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I only play raid or the pines. So I I want to know though. Have you guys played the game um, like console specific, no crossplay yet, or do you just keep it open? I just play crossplay. Yeah, just keep it I open. Keep it open. Cause I wonder what the difference is in terms of skill based matchmaking between console and PC. Cause I feel like on <clears throat> on console, it's got to be dialed up specifically because there's a lower like skill ceiling, I guess, for for console. In my opinion, like, I don't I feel think like it's more it's more babies much. and noobs that are on on console than on console. PC. Cause if you're playing well, you PC, know, like you know I mean, what you're doing. You isn't isn't the CWL like all play? Don't they play on? Uh... They play controller. Yeah, but don't they play on PS4? Like, doesn't see, don't they have a like contract with PS4? That do they all the time? Well, I mean, Call of Duty does in general, so that would make sense. Pretty but sure they still, made I the mean, switch like... from Xbox after a while ago. Yeah, but I feel like even even if the the CDL is on console itself, like most of the pros are still like they're either streaming or playing on PC in their off time. Yeah, that's true. It's just like it it's such a if you have the if you like let me say this if you have the right parts for your PC, it is a better experience. I think. Yeah. I yeah, for sure. Hands down. Um, especially like if people are playing on mouse and keyboard, like some of the people I see on that game, game. I feel like. Yeah, they look like they're aimbot. It's crazy. It's it, like the skill ceiling again. Like just from where we were when we were kids is significantly higher. Yep. Now, all because of mouse and keyboard. Like like you got the kids playing it on Siege on Xbox. They buy the adapter oh, so they can play on a mouse and keyboard. Oh my in. god! I don't even want to get started on that. Oh my god! Anytime gosh. we ran that tournament, those Sunday tournaments, oh, those those <laughs> those five tournaments, we'd like. We were doing awful the first time. Then, like, finally, we were getting tournaments where we win the first round. Yeah. And then that next game, you can tell these mm-hmm. dudes are flicking across the screen, no problem. Yeah. They're yeah. staying in that dumb little peak, and it's like the perma, the why? perma, perma lean or whatever. The, oh yeah. yeah. Like, that's the, I lean. I swear, I don't know anyone that uses controller and has hit like champ on Xbox. Like, yeah, I feel like you no need mouse sure. and keyboard. I mean, if no. you do, I'm sure there probably is, but like, well, there's there's like to you for being cracked, but like, that's just it's just fucked. There's a couple people that like hold out on on siege in terms of controller, like the <laughs> um, the YouTuber, uh, oh, what's his name? Priest, priest. He um, he's like priest a holdout. Priest. What? Priest, bro. Yeah. Priest, uh. No okay. priest. He um he's a holdout on controller. Like he'll he'll switch to mouse and keyboard every now and again, but his main is controller still. But like even he talks about how like he used to be like champ, and now at this point he literally is like mid plat at best, and he's like he's professional level. And that's just that's just the difference between what you can do on controller and mouse and keyboard. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, we can see it on Fortnite. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> we well, we're actually, really different than that. Do you know what, no, you know what Vaughn used to do on there? Controller. What Vaughn? Yeah, Vaughn. Vaughn played professional Fortnite, like in like like um, whatever the actual like uh, epic tournaments were. He would FNCS. play. Yeah, FNCS. He would play controller for aim because of the aim assist, and he would play mouse and keyboard for building. He would swap mid game. <laughs> Why? No joke. What the fuck? Because really like good. every everyone on Fortnite complains that aim assist is OP simply yeah, because that. it levels the playing field, so that it's like a, you you can actually compete against PC players. Whereas yeah, like I mean, he you literally can you build. can't build. You can <clears throat> you can build with the controller. Not, you not can. as good in, it build and edit. I should say build and edit. Well, uh, I, like you have to right? change your you gotta get a, you get a paddles, yeah. though. Yeah, you, you have, have to have get a, a you have yeah. to get an elite controller. You have to use yeah, four paddles. To. Your edits have to be a stick down. Like on Fortnite, <clears> you have to. If you're not using tap edit, yeah, like a one tap edit on rather your left or right stick on controller, then you're crazy. Because like, a, basically like or uh, switch to build should be like something that allows you to shoot and keep your thumbs on the uh joysticks so my like my switch to build is left bumper yeah. so my index finger is on left bumper i shoot a shotgun shot and all i gotta do is hit left bumper to place that wall you know what i'm saying yeah. it's it but like if you have it on b like you gotta shoot and aim with your right thumb like how are you doing that on console like you have to change and adapt. Right. That's what <laughs> players fine. don't want to fucking do. Like no one wants to change and adapt to the game. They all cried. Like the game got good. Like like everybody complains <coughs> about the game being like <clears throat> a bunch of sweats at building shit. And it's like <coughs> game's been out three years. People figured shit out. Just like in Rocket League, game's been for out four years, and you see people flying from end to end, hitting <laughs> all four times You're in right. the air. That's true. You're games. Right adapt the if you want normality and just a plain stale old game cold wars sitting out there for 49.99 <laughs> go fucking pick that game up go go ahead oh, like, so to, to build on that though in terms of what you're saying is you have to like there's there's a lot of like hoops you have to jump through just to be able to be competitive on a controller so my, my argument is, like, in terms of yeah. four aim assist, is that you're jumping through all those hoops just to be competitive on controller. Mouse and keyboard has none of that. You plug and... in your mouse, you plug in your keyboard, and you're fucking set. Half the time it's, oh, I have to tilt my keyboard 90 degrees, and then I can play, or some shit like and that. And in this game, we lose aim assist within literally two feet. And, like, oh, and it's horrible. Board. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There is no shot I would be good at any video game if I didn't have aim assist. Oh, it'd facts. be impossible. I, I it would, would just be impossible. I would switch. I would hard switch to mouse and keyboard. It would literally be physically impossible to play a game. It like I don't play mouse and keyboard on Siege on um on PC anymore because you don't get aim assist. Yeah. It's it's like a miserable experience trying to play on controller. <laughs> you just... you can wait, 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 say that again? Oh, I was just gonna say it's a miserable experience just because like I like you try and aim and you try and just make a micro adjustment. And all of a sudden, you're aiming completely at the ground. What on P Get on aim less, bro. keyboard? No, um, on controller on um on. PC. Get aim at, bro. Oh really? Yeah. See, so just doesn't have that. I, I, it has the enable setting for it, but then I went and played with um with like Sam and, and Lays and. I'd cop that for seven ninety nine. <sighs> play some siege, but I wouldn't play mouse and keyboard. I'll tell you that. Maybe I would. It's, I'm a chewer. it's significantly Again. better playing on mouse and keyboard on siege. Like I, yeah, like, I still no. suck at it, but it's it's fun because it's like <laughs> I still suck at it. I might cop that. Because I it's, I, it's I love speech. I'm gonna run the DMR speech. and raid right now. But like I haven't played in God knows how long, so like that is gonna take me so long oh. to get good at. Say, well, you know what? Funny that you mentioned that because you have to reach level fifty to play ranked now. Oh, I fine. like that. So it I gives you that. it gives you fifty levels to learn the maps again, learn the characters. And you know, like un unlock characters that you need. I As wonder, a what, I wonder player, if I could link I my that. Ubisoft yeah. to uh, my PC account. Probably not. You Probably have to. I, you, you would have to. I'd imagine. You you can't do um cross. Uh, no, yeah, crossplay is not, not a thing. No, no, not crossplay. You can't do cross progression. That's oh, dumb. so, so dumb. all your stuff on Xbox you lose. 
That's oh. stupid. Well, no, not not lose. You can hop back on Xbox and still play with all your stuff, but like, yeah, oh, I got to play the half, baby. Fuck yeah. Uh, that thing, I'm. I don't even know if my Xbox. Oh yeah, it does work because my brother's using it. To kind of pivot here from Siege, because Siege is still a relevant esport in a sense. Um, it is. Let's let's pivot more into esports themselves. Um, have you? Did you guys watch any of the Valorant First Strike tournament? Uh, nope. No, I didn't. No, I the I haven't been paying attention to Valorant at all. I wanted to get into it. But I don't just I don't know. It Nick, hurt Nick, a lot of you should negative. play Rogue Company with us. Rogue Company, True. you would I like you guys. I get seven notifications <laughs> a day about Brian streaming Rogue Company. Every time <laughs> Brian, I get you a little like ding ding on my computer, like it's an email or something, like I'm at work, and that's what I think it is an email. No, it's Brian streaming Rogue Company. <laughs> Putting that work in. So, what is that game? Rogue Company. Yes, uh, it's a four v four um, yeah. third person shooter, um, objective based. It's basically it's basically search, but in third person, and set characters. Is it cross platform. Yes. Yes. Oh, you can play now on controller too. Free. Controllers. How much free, money? That's all I need to tell you. Free. What? Yeah. Yeah. Go download it right now. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Steve, Don't, not right now. Not right now. <laughs> we'll do it out. <laughs> well, like, I'm gonna download it while we talk. Relax. Okay. I got a PC. Well, so nope. to bring up to to pivot back into esports, um, because we you know we've talked about the CDL and we we talked about Siege, which is still a semi relevant esport at the very least. Um, Valorant is now, in, in my opinion, the biggest esport, uh, in in the world at the moment. Um, I know yeah. that people are going to be like, well, League and Dota are things still. But shut up, nerds. We're not asking for you here. <laughs> um, Valorant First Strike Tournament was some of the most fun I've had watching an esports tournament in a long time. Like I'm talking like Black <laughs> Ops 2 CDL. I'm having as much fun as when I watch that. Like this, like the tournament, like hundred watching hundred thieves play and like like learning the game itself and like what like playing it at the same time as watching it. It was just like it was like feeling like a little kid again, watching like those old videos. It was it was incredible. So uh, this is why I say that you guys, uh, Brian and Dave, should get PCs and then all of us run it, because it it feels like one of those games where if you have a five man that's willing to put in time to play the game, it's like no joke achievable to reach like higher ranks and then potential exact like siege like siege was back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where like had had we had a consistent five stack that was like we were you know, all nasty looking back in the day. Exactly, but we we also weren't like a hundred percent serious about potentially making a team. Yeah. Like if we were to do that, that would be like huge, especially in terms of the community on different platforms: Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Like it has a big following. So there's like a lot of potential there for growth within that community. It's like it's insane. I feel like just from a content perspective, I feel like you guys should get PCs and do it. Just yeah, my opinion. Uh, I'm going to. You're wait. You say you were going to? Eventually, yeah. That's what I want to. Okay. And Brian. By twenty, the end of twenty twenty one, I will probably be like full into PC. That is a fact. It's All just right. a matter of how I'm going to do it in the smartest way. I also think have it, like just streaming PC games will help you grow immensely. Like there is there is yeah, still a market for there's console. So many, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. But there's so many PC games that like that obviously is on PC, not Xbox or PS4, and like they're just fun to watch. Like yeah. uh, like Rust, it's starting to. I like I always thought Rust was like a someone like already like kind of big game, but like now. That's starting to grow again. Like all these streamers, like these oh, big streamers, I'm all going to the server and doing shit. Playing it right now with yeah. a combined one hundred and thirty thousand yeah, people. It's yeah. crazy, and it's like we can't do that on console. Console doesn't come out with any like real good games like that. Like, like Among Us is actually know. coming to console though, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it is, and it's, their whole like delay with moving forward is like I want to say it's screwing them, but at the same time, I feel like it's probably not going to screw them at all. No, because I, I feel like there's enough of a younger audience that, that no matter what happens, even if, like, a majority moves away, 
there's still going to be enough people that will play yeah, to like, still gonna generate be something. a lot of revenue. And eventually, yeah, they'll get new I people. imagine they're going to fucking add on to it, and then there it goes. It'll come back to life yeah. again. All, basically, all companies have to do at this point is get one big streamer, say, hey, we're going to pay you $10,000, just play our game for like two or three hours yeah. on stream, and like, instantly. Like Apex. Like, like, like Apex, Apex and, and how it's had a huge comeback. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Nick tells us on stream, he's like, they give me a bag to play this for 12 hours, bro. I don't <laughs> care. But that's like, that's such smart marketing. Like, yeah, it, I watched it. For yeah. Well, there's, there's going to be people that watch streamers no matter what game they're playing. Like, like yeah. people who watch, like, uh, uh, Hasanabi. You guys like follow him? Yeah, I know mm -hmm. he is, yeah. He, like, he talks politics for, like, 10 hours on his stream yeah, and then yeah. plays games for the other two. And he can, like, he consistently gets above, like, 10, 10k viewers. Yeah, people like what they like. Yeah. And most of the like time, Tim. it's just the person. Like, like Nick always says with Tim, like, he's not an incredible gamer. He's just entertaining. And he's just, a, like, a cool dude. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of, a lot of, like, growing as a streamer is, like, having kind of the background as, like, being, like, a dummy and having dumb stories and kind of yeah. being mm -hmm. personable to, and, to kind of, like, it, our personality. It, it, yeah, like, having a personality that makes the viewer feel like they're a part of whatever is going on. Yeah. So to, like, kind of, uh, like, transition into the final part of the podcast, I just kind of, like, you know, we're all growing streamers, sort of content creators, I guess we'll call us. So, like, I just wanted to ask if anyone had any dumb stories from when they were younger. If you really want to get Dave to laugh, just bring up chicken wings. And <laughs> oh, my there God. There it is. Wait. That story. We were just talking oh about Oh, my we fucking God. About Wait, what is chicken he wings? He doesn't. Okay. So, one time, me and Dave hung up. This was like, I don't know how old we were. It was, it was a long time ago. It was a long, long time ago. It was like just entering into my college year or whatever. <clears throat> I had like took like maybe a gram of weed, maybe a little less of gram of weed. <laughs> yeah. To Dave's house. We smoked, we got high. I brought chicken wings. I'm like, Dave, these are already cooked. You just got to warm them up. And we were watching football or whatever. And I was, he's like, all right. And he hands me a plate. I was like, is this a microwavable plate? <laughs> He's like, what? How, how the fuck do you know that? <laughs> and I turn it over and it says, do not microwave. <laughs> like, Dave, what the fuck? Like, he's like, we're 18. Like, we're not like 12. Like, this is not like, we're, like, this is not 12, like, juice boxes. And stuff. <laughs> Parental, like, no, we're 18 and this kid's fried out of his mind. <laughs> <Right>. and, <laughs> He, he, I don't think he stopped laughing that whole night no, from no, that incident. No, no, no. He spent maybe the last hour and a half, two hours. There was like football games on too, just laughing about that incident. It was one of the funniest things in my life, <laughs> swear to God. That was. That was pretty funny. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw that out there every now and again and be like, yo, Dave, chicken wings. I'm in <laughs> they were good too. Fire. They're so high. But there was a lot of, like, of Just them. imagine two high eighteen <laughs> chopping away on chicken. Our eighteen year old metabolism what, too, dude. Wasn't that like the AFC champion game? Yeah, oh, you picked me up. I don't remember. I yeah. I really remember the game. Oh, I just remember the chicken, that's it. And I couldn't stop laughing. That's it. <laughs> I forgot football was on. My God. So <laughs> off of that, Brian, do you have any uh any funny stories? Um Trying one time, to think. one I mean, time, I had one with Brian. One time, it was his birthday. What year was it? Were we freshmen or were we sophomores? Uh, is this the Bronco? Yeah, that's the Bronco. That was my. Bronco. That was my okay. Was that oh. my 16th? Or was that my 17th? 17. Maybe, I don't know. 17. 17. Because yeah, I was already 17th, actually. Yeah, yeah. That little pond oh. place. I'll talk about Brian's birth. Like, what? He drove the truck down. All yeah, Don Page the drove the day. truck down. He, he said right. he used to do it all the time. Yeah, yeah and yeah, of course it just so happened this time he got stuck. <laughs> so it was he just down there. Yeah, he was like, "All right, whatever. I'll just get it all later tomorrow." 
everybody got inside the Bronco, and, and there was like, like what, two blunts, the bomb was well, just going first, around. D- yeah, Dante and, and, was... and Redmond left to go to Cumbie, so they left. I was and with that, occupied. too. We occupied I'm, I'm pissed. it was cold out. This is January 24th in so Massachusetts. Cold. So it's it's brick. It really is. It's, it's in like the teens, especially at nighttime. And so we go in the Bronco. We're going to warm up. Yeah. So we're just like passing around blunts. Like it was awesome. I knew the Bronco Absolutely hot in, boxing. in a ditch. <laughs> the Bronco's so it's still not in the driveway. That shit's in a we're, ditch, my it's guy. Still it's in like, the ditch. Yeah, you guys didn't get it out first. Outside of all the houses no, no, in a rich God, neighborhood, no. so thank God. So, like, by the time we're done smoking, you can't see a thing. We, it is we picked just, up clouds. You can't see in front of you at all. I remember <laughs> being all the way in the back, and I'm like, I can't breathe. Like, he was like, let dying. me out. And I, I was like, don't breathe. let him. I crawl <laughs> all the way over everyone to the front. I slide down the driver's seat, open the door, and I slide out the, the Bronco. And then I remember just laying down on my back. And then I heard footsteps. Dante's coming back. Mad as fuck. <laughs> He's fucking pissed. <laughs> Yo. And, uh, so mad. So, he was so <laughs> mad. Uh, I, I I understand. I, at the time, I was like, "Dude, it's okay. Like, it's okay." Just leave the windows would, open. No air out. I would have probably never talked to anybody for a long time. <laughs> Fucking Dante. So, That's so you, funny. actually, that Bronco brought a lot of good memories. Remember the time we were driving around the neighborhood that same night? I think. I think we were on like edibles or something, and you thought it'd be a great idea to hop out the door while nah, he was driving. I remember that because I said, <laughs> I won't, you, I'll do you, like bet. And then you guys all were like, bet. And I was like, all right, now I have to do it. <laughs> oh my God. That's About funny. that Bronco story, do you remember that like, like a year later or so we go down and we just had a simple fire and we were waiting for Dante to get out of work? And we got oh, the cops called yeah. us. But we yeah. didn't get the cops called on us when we were when Dante drove a, the Bronco down into that ditch. <laughs> like, mind you, he backed that shit up down a hill into the ditch. Wait a minute, like, was that near his house? Yeah. Yes, you I know where Dante that, lives. Oh my that, god, you guys that, in that ditch? No, yes, no that, that little hill. pond back there too, yeah. where it freezes up. We, yes, we made that our spot. <laughs> oh that was that god. was the spot. And Dante, like, I just don't understand. I remember going to Cumbies with them and Dante coming back, and he was furious. But, like, <laughs> it was such a good time. I, did, I, couldn't, I couldn't give a shit. I was so fucking just, like, it was just such a good time. It was. It was. It really I just was. couldn't believe we didn't get the cops called on us. Not once. Facts. Yeah, crazy. And the one time we did, we were like, yo, Dante, just come here and tell it. Like, they were like, well, who are you or whatever? And we're like, Dante, like, this is your house is right here. Like, help us. He's like, uh, no. I'm like, you're a <laughs> prick. Like, what? I mean, we went to Taco Bell. Yeah, like that. That. that was that. Spinning off from that, I feel like there's uh, like a topic we should talk about. Brian's <laughs> birthday parties. I got another one of those. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I got another one of those Brian birthday party stories. It's like when he was 21, though. Oh, God, oh. wait. I want to hear this now. Brian oh my God. Fox, hit $800. He what played night. fucking three spins on a yep. on a goddamn machine. He put well, in actually, $20, was... played three $5 spins, and he hit $880. And what? we got... He got so fucking drunk that night that... I literally, we, like, we were waiting at the wrong entrance where the valet was supposed to pick us up. Like, he was throwing up in a bag. Both <laughs> our phones were dead. Like, he was so, he was, like, so he, on a, so he's another level. Drunk. You're basically carrying him at that point. And you I'm with him. Bucks on you. No, I don't know who had it. Well, I had I, that money was not of my knowledge. The only thing uh, of my knowledge was my phone was everything. dead. <laughs> And Brian's phone was the only one that was on, and I could only get in touch with the with the guy that uh, the valet guy. 
And he was like, are you guys at the right entrance? I was like, brother, I have no clue. I am so <laughs> fucked up in my fucking my boy. <laughs> so, like, I, he's like, where are you? I don't know. I was like, I, I'm at an entrance, but like, I'm at like a ground level entrance that is not where you left us. He was like, I think I know where you are. Stay put. And I saw him pull up and I dragged that fucking loosey goosey Brian Johnson to the car. So fucked. That was like, and I don't know how I got stuck with him. I have, I, I don't, I don't recall getting like, I don't recall. He was so fucked up and we just, you, like, you I missed out think... on so many good details though. No, you yeah. We, so we, there, yeah, there's, <laughs> those are classified details though, that can't go on record. <laughs> <laughs> those are, we won't, we're not going to, we're not going to stoop and we're going to give them the gist and the, the gist they'll of the stuff. Yeah, they'll stay in the vault. But, <laughs> there were, there, we went with a group of friends. There was eight other people. Including me and Brian. Oh, and they were so like, one. they like I don't know what the plan was, but I think we were supposed to meet them at that entrance that where we were all supposed to get picked up. Because when we, <laughs> when I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if we picked them up. This is so fucked up. I don't know when we got in that limo. I don't know if they were already there. Or if we went to the main entrance <laughs> to go get that, <laughs> but that was probably the plan. And I'm pretty sure I had to go to, like, the fucking check-in place where you put, like, coats and hats. Because that's... Brian had to fucking go check in his hat. And, yeah. It was, long story about that. Different times yeah. for that story. Pre, pre but, yeah. That was... That was uh, oh, wow. pre-COVID. Yeah, that was... I... That was a great night. Well... <laughs> Safe to say, I don't think any of that would have happened if I didn't hit on that slot machine. I wouldn't oh, God, no. money on drinks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brian was just like he ended up dropping like seven hundred dollars on drinks. I think he, you know, I, I had like thirty, forty dollars of drinks just on Brian. I was like two <laughs> margaritas and a least, shot, like like two, three hundred dollars, especially when we got into Shrine. I remember just buying a shitload of shots just randomly. Mm -hmm. And that's the last thing I remember. I remember taking a shot, going to the bathroom, and then I remember waking up in the bed. Oh, that's it. What the bathroom in Shrine? Yeah, I went in there, and then that was it. That was crazy. I never seen, like, a dude in a bathroom. But, like, I get it, because, like, yeah, it's a club. But, like, like a dude works in there, and, like, well, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> hand dry. Like, it was wild. I, it I was can wild. only imagine what stories I was telling oh, that fucking funny. guy. <laughs> that, no, yeah, that, <laughs> that was, uh, Brian, that the was first, the first time, I like, I hung out with you again in, in like, years last year. I remember I pulled up and you were already gone. You were Probably. like, you were <laughs> hammered out of your mind. And so was Mark, and Mark was like dancing against the wall. Oh, oh I remember that night. Wait, was that in the basement? That was in the basement, yeah. That was when I had to sit by. That was the Jaeger Red Bull night. That was the Jaeger Red Bull night. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's a night Mark doesn't like to talk about anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I was had to bring him into the bathroom to calm like, him down and I like, like, this guy. like, Bring him back down to earth. I love Mark. Uh, when me and Mark are together, it's bad because it's the drinking is ridiculous. Oh my god, he's an awful influence, but I love it. <laughs> well, you know what? We have we've been here for a while, so we'll kind of we'll we'll get to this last story, I guess, um, and then we'll wrap things up. Like Dave, Dave and Brian know a lot more about this than you do. I think Nick, I think you only know bits and pieces. Uh, but do you know about everything that uh, that went down with me in high school? Uh, yes, not everything. Tell me, tell me what you know. When it, no, how's about you just tell me what you want to tell me, and I'll tell you if there was any new information, and I'll be honest that I have received. No, because I I I think I know what you know already. Like, yeah, Dave, Brian, I, I think know. I think I think we all know. Yeah. So I like I like I I don't want to like I feel like I've been talking a bunch. I want to have you explain like this part with what you know, and then I can fill in the details with it. Oh, I don't feel comfortable with that, bro. My guy, I Dude, almost trust, told you trust me. It's you yeah. know, you know it's fine. Trust me. Okay, so what I know is that you had gone to school one day and had a firearm on you, and it was a big commotion, and yeah, and I did not find that out until like seven years after the fact yeah like it had just came up randomly one day and i was just like wait what and they were like yeah you never knew that and i was like no and yeah 
Okay, so there's there's like a, a big part of this story that I have to tell you that um, I well, don't think I, whoever told you didn't tell you. Probably not. No. Um. Okay. Like, are 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 you like are you good with this? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm good with. I don't. Want, I didn't want to have to say anything. I All wanted right. you to break the ice. Okay. But you made me break the ice. So now the ice is broken. So there's nothing that I can do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The ice is broken. Well, uh, so Nick. That never happened. <laughs> I sure. I I never shot up a school. I didn't know that you thought I did until I don't even Dave or Brian, did one of you tell me that like Chris Okay, told so them? from to be totally honest. Bro, I don't even know who like like <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's the truth anymore at this I, point. Okay. I'm so, fucking four months in, and like <laughs> I believe for seven years I had no clue of this information, and now you want me to go back <laughs> on the two and a half years with this new information. Okay. Okay. So like, go on. Let me. Let me. Let me explain what actually happened. So obviously, and my my dad. Is, you, my dad was I the did not officer. say you did shoot up a school. I said you went. To <laughs> that's true we never said that I oh yeah no but we definitely we we yeah we we definitely built it up that i shot a bunch of people okay and we'll not, look at, okay so, so here's i was happened. told that yes <laughs> but that was by <laughs> Rosco and like anything that comes <laughs> out of his mouth is like is like cap. rather a b cap, cap or like <laughs> c irrelevant cap so cap, really. okay so my dad was the resource and dare officer for, um, I don't want to say our, the town's name, but our town's high school. And they were building a new one, so they didn't need the old one. They were going to tear it down, so they decided, let's do SWAT training exercises. And um, we'll bring in a bunch of extras, and they'll they'll play like the people, and we'll bring in an actor to play the school shooter. And, no! And so the day no of... No way! The day of, I'm with, I'm with Ian, uh, Ian and uh, like a couple other people... And we're in the the cat the the gym of the the school, and one of the officers comes in. He's like, "Hey guys!" So he's talking to like like the fifty people that are in there. He's like, "Hey guys!" So the person who was supposed to play the shooter uh, isn't gonna make it today. Does anyone want to play the shooter? And my hand shot up immediately before even. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I will do it. That sounds like so much fun. So he's like, great. Like we're gonna start in fifteen. Let's everyone get in position. So people had gotten, like, like actual, like, <laughs> details on them of, like, being shot. So, like, my dad had a bullet hole in his head from being the first victim. Like, <laughs> I, I, so I go out to the front of the school with this officer once everyone's ready. And he has a he has a, a actual flashbang in his hand and a revolver in the other. He pulls the pin on the flashbang but doesn't release the hammer. And he looks at me, he's like, are you ready? And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. He's like, all right, cover your ears. And tosses the flashbang into the parking lot. So I cover my, it goes off. And then we start walking through the school. And the revolver has blanks in it. He's walking up to each person and shooting them with the blank and going, you're dead. Bang, you're alive. Bang, you're dead. Bang, you're alive. And there's a photographer coming through and getting pictures of it all. So... He leads me to the back of the school in the art room. <laughs> and he, he sets me up with my friend Ian, and he sets me up with like 12 other people in this room. And he's like, all right, you've taken hostages. They're going to call your phone, and you're going to have to talk to a negotiator, and you're going to have to like, you're going to have to deal with the police, um, and you're going to have to like play this character. Is this <laughs> like a video, though? Like, is there a video of this? I, I don't know if there is. They or never is showed me. Photos. Because I've only. If there is, it's probably just photos. for them. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, so I get like a GoPro on. (laughs) Oh my god, that would have been so good. Uh, Well, so this this was before I even thought about doing YouTube or streaming or anything either. But so Nick, I I did a four hour thing at that point in that room where I had to negotiate out people for like drinks and like food. Like I gave away a hostage for a can of Coke because I didn't know what else to. Because I'm not a fucking psychopath i was like i don't know what a human being is worth give me a can of coke you probably should just said yeah give me some coke. <laughs> i'm not a psychopath so that that was all an act so and they just got me to believe that so yeah, yeah. by the end i like i gave myself up to the police and they they like the officer comes up he's like do you want me to handcuff you and i was like yeah like make it look real so he zipped me 
That and that they, they carried me out of the building like the full SWAT team. So Nick, at one point That's we were in an Xbox party. Yo, with all of us. A picture of me. I think you told me some bullshit. Though. So Chris, Chris <laughs> said like you you were definitely like you were you were high as fuck that night I because under the influence you in fried yo and then they send me the picture and yeah. i'm like yo no, no, dude no. it's gotta be true not not just yeah. that nick they sent you the link to the article that was written on it with the picture of the headline uh, I just knowing that you I never read, read the article <laughs> you saw the you saw the article and went yo this is real and they were like yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was in the middle of siege. I was yeah. working transports three to eleven, coming home, getting fried from fucking eleven thirty <laughs> at night to fucking four a.m. Playing yeah, siege. Best. So, siege, baby, like, baby. how do you expect me to read an article <laughs> about some fucking small <laughs> Massachusetts town? Like, you. you uh, let me put it this way: you were my friend at that point, yeah. and I didn't want to acknowledge the fact that that happened in your life <laughs> so i just i just turned it away i just yeah. turned it away. i didn't read the article i, I saw that picture <laughs> and i said that is too fucked up of a story to read and put my phone down Nick, that has continued no on. been the hardest part of this because at points you have defended me to other people when they bring it up. And I was like, I yeah. don't even know if I can keep going with this. This is fucking brutal. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> that is that is awesome. I am so glad. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I'm not a school shooter. I, I figured that's now crazy. is a good time to know. <laughs> um, I, I hope that we could still be friends. Yeah. Uh, we could be better <laughs> friends now. Okay, good. More comfortable though. This story's fake. <laughs> I don't have an underwhelming. <laughs> like, says true. Do you, you want me to be truth? Like, I, yeah, I don't have an overwhelming uh, like anxiety playing shooting games with you now. Like, oh, dude, absolute. Nick, let me tell you, one of my dude, favorite things to do. So funny, bro. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Nick, that that you would be playing Siege and I would die, and I like purposely, I'd be like, yo, this game just makes me want to fucking get a gun again. And I would hear your mic go silent for at least five minutes. Yeah, little. Yeah, it yo, was I, audible I, I silence. Would. You know what's crazy is like, like three quarters of the way through this, I was like, I, I was piecing it all together. I was like, oh no, I was like, this has been, and because I was like, you know, they told me this <laughs> for a ride all the time, and I'm like piecing it all together. I'm like, oh, this is fake. This is they got me on a good one, didn't they? And then I thought about all the times I would come home, sit down right at 11.30, roll a blunt, like, because I was just <laughs> so pissed because I had some poopy-ass patient that I was pushing around. <laughs> and just getting absolutely fried in playing at I'm night. Glad, baby. Not to mention, like, COVID, when that came around and stuff, we were all, like, unemployed playing till, like, 4 a.m. So, yeah. like, <sighs> Oh, yeah, right God. at the beginning, you, me, and Mikey playing Fortnite literally until like five. What a time! Oh my! Crazy. God. I won't lie, yeah. I have been so fucking anxious all day because I I was yeah. not sure how you would take this. Oh. <laughs> not not <laughs> not saying that I didn't. Oh, I'm not friends with you, friend. <laughs> yeah, you made a party Bro, on me. Just, for a year just and a half. think of think of it from this point of view, though. Like I I was like, fuck, this might change our whole friendship. You know, like I imagine. <laughs> I was like, I maybe maybe like the the. I have a very big philosophy of like I didn't know you back then, so like. <laughs> what can I do? That's like, true. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. Like I know you now. Yeah. That's that. Like, well, I also what? like. I just didn't want to believe it. So like, yeah, I just. It's almost like, like it's if I don't acknowledge, I repressed it. <laughs> the second I saw that fucking image, I was like, "No, nah, that's not. I'm not. There I'm was, not doing this tonight." So some somebody I won't say his name made a okay, whole meme but account about no, it. No, they did not. And for the record, I do not recall getting a link to that article. I just got a screenshot Picture. from. Of just the article with him. I'm, your I'm editing favorite. that name out, by the way. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. He made he made he made a meme account <coughs> on Twitter about it. It was called yeah. Bad Luck Brett. 
It was. I mean, uh, like Brett. Can I be honest? I yeah. <laughs> you want me to be one thousand? Yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking fit the description. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah, like you, you do, you do. Your dad's a call. Cool shoot your friend out of all my friends. <laughs> oh, you're no. still a too, even though like like I know it's not real anymore. Type yeah. shit. But, like boy, what <laughs> a time to be alive. Twenty twenty one. Hasn't even started. We we had to go out with a bang in 2020. We're recording this bang. on New Year's, so you know. Now that was a road, baby. I am so happy <laughs> that you guys waited this long to tell me. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, it just, it just all makes sense. Yeah, we, that, like, I'm I was so keep it going. fucking fried do you, and do you know why I wanted to I wanted to do this in particular? So like, I was going to make a TikTok series like explaining this whole story and how you thought I was a school shooter. And the day I went to record it, you followed me on TikTok. And I was like, fuck, I can't make this now until he knows. Oh, no. I literally right. I was like, damn, like that was going to bang some views. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, you please. should totally fuck off. <laughs> you should have blocked me. You should have blocked me. <laughs> Someone said that, and I was like, I can't do that. Like, we send each other yeah, memes now. <laughs> oh, man. That's too funny. All right, I think I think that's a perfect place to end this yeah. podcast. Yeah, that's guys. <laughs> I, thank you, thank you to all three of you for for being on the first episode back in the first episode of the rebranded podcast. Uh, let's start, Nick. <laughs> plug your socials. What do you want if viewers? If there are viewers that are out there watching this, what do you want them to follow? Uh, you, because any of my content will be from you and or other streamers because i don't stream and or post and or use any type of social media damn brian and dave the bar is high for you guys what do you guys <laughs> brian <laughs> what do you want what do you want to plug right now 1d and lord uh where, what are we on twitter now, <laughs> lord lord t and two d's on that lord now you can pretty much follow me on any other social media lord johnson with two d's i'm sorry it's so complicated i gotta work on that honestly it's only fans but, you know, people like to yeah, take my stuff yeah only fans coming soon uh we're, we're aiming for the first quarter of 2021 it's gonna be real big you should check that out as long as you follow my socials you get the you get the link to the only fans all right dave what are uh what are you plugging right now go follow me on twitch man What's my Twitch name? I think it's Darth Vossi, right? Uh, Darth Vossi on Twitch. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's it. All right, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that follow button. We're going to be back with more podcasts. You might even see some of these guys again. Um, if you if you aren't following, make sure to follow on Twitch. That's Brett Official. YouTube, Brett Official. you see me again. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely be seeing. Nick now has to be a recurring member of the podcast. Leave Yo, me. I found out I am big time <laughs> wild wild like i gotta go to bed with that like you you ever thought about that like you should have just never told me you you guys should have told me the day brett died like yeah he never (laughs) (laughs) thought fuck that's a missed opportunity but no bullshit i don't know how you guys hid that for so long for so long, Dude, well, Nick. All right, Nick. It's Chris, easy when you're high. Chris told you <laughs> all the times, time. and you you weren't paying attention. When I first yeah. heard about like, it, well, I like I'm paying attention, but I'm just like I'm not giving them the time of day because I just don't want to believe it. I didn't believe myself <laughs> when I they told me that. You like, it. is that so sad? Like, I get it. I mean, he played video games on an everyday basis. I was I was just like <laughs> ignoring it. I was like, nah. No, Nick. We were we were in a party one time. And again, you were you were you know you were a bit out there. And Chris Chris hops right. to the party and goes, "Oh, so so Nick knows that you didn't shoot up the school now." And I I literally like Chris, shut the fuck up, shut up. And he is like, "What? Doesn't Nick know that you didn't?" I do remember it? that so vividly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were playing that. Rocket League, and you you I'll came back party, a minute yeah. later. You're like, "Wait, what? What was going on? I missed everything." Yeah, bro, because I get so fucking high sometimes that, like, in between games, I will literally sit on my phone and I will watch, like, 45 minutes of Facebook videos or, like, fucking TikTok videos. 
So like I mm-hmm. complete. So that's why like when like you guys were telling this story, I like could completely see it. Just like mm-hmm. I could see my I, like I had an epiphany of watching myself <laughs> just, like, a year ago, makes sense. believing this story because I'm mm-hmm. too high to notice that my friends are lying to me. <laughs> I'm on it's my like phone. The what? Just, it's just, on all time. Time. You just remember everything. It's Crazy. Back. That's funny. All right, guys. Um. Again, if you haven't checked out any of the socials of any of them, links uh, for YouTube are going to be in the description down below. I don't know what's even what this is going to look like if it's on Spotify, but if you're checking this out on Spotify, make sure to hit follow. Uh, check back for more podcasts in the future. Uh, this has been the Bread Official Presents the Everything Podcast. Thank you guys again for listening. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.